Hello scholars! Today we're going to talk about the long E sound. Ah, don't know why my sword pointer is here. I need to get it out of our way. Long E. And it says right here at the top what our lesson is all about. So if you ever forget while you're working during the week, just go back and look at the beginning. It tells you right there what we are doing. The long E vowel spelled with E, E, and E, A. Long E. So, let's begin. First thing, of course, we read the pattern words fast. You know how to do that, but I'll read them with you because I enjoy doing that too. Are you ready? Let's begin. Three, agree, dream, squeaked, reach, speech, speak, cheated, cheated, squealed, cleaned, meet, meet, week, week, and weekend. Woohoo! Done with that. Did any of you notice that some of the words sounded exactly the same? Meet and meet, week and week. Ooh, exactly the same. Those are words called homophones. They sound the same, but are spelled differently and mean something totally different. We'll talk more about those this week. Let's continue and see what kind of sounds we're looking for. Draw a box. Now remember, annotate your directions. I think a lot of you have gotten out of that habit. This is a great way for you to make sure that you are doing everything you're supposed to do. Draw a box around the E, 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 and E, A in each word. That seems simple enough, so let's begin doing that. Three, E, E, agree. E, E, dreamed, E, A, squeaked, E, A, reached, E, A, speech, E, E. You're going to continue to do that. I don't think you need me to box in, more in letter sounds. You can do that on your own. I did notice right away, though, I thought, oh, EE's at the end, but then as I got down here, it isn't. These two spellings of long E, EE, -E and EA, don't have a rule like it's at the end, it's at the middle, it's at the beginning. These can be anywhere in the word. And the way that you're going to remember is to use them and see them and write them and use them and see them and write them and use them and see them and write them over and over and over again. And eventually your brain will be sorting them out. So this is one where you're going to need lots of practice. Reading, looking, writing. Remember when I ask you to feed your brain four ways? See it, say it, hear it, write it. That writing motion is committing. It goes up your arm and commits it to your brain. Committing them to memory. So that's why we practice writing things. So let's go on and let's practice our EA and EE words. This set part here says write the words with the E sound spelled EA. Okay, so I'm just going to circle that. And down here, write the words with the E sound spelled EE. -E. Okay, so this is our EE, -E, this is our EA. For every line there is a word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine EA words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven E, E words. Now you can do this either way. You can go through and see, find all the E, A words and write them and then go back and find all the E, E words. Or you can just find the word and put it where it belongs. Whichever works best for you. I like to find the word and put it where it belongs. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first word is three. E, E. Here's where I put my EE -E words, so I'm going to write it right here on the first line. I'm going to feed my brain four ways. See it, say it, hear it, and write it. All right, let's begin. Three. T H R E E. I just fed my brain four ways. Let's do a couple more together. Agree. Agree is also going to go here. So I'm going to write agree. So I'm going to feed my brain four ways. See it, say it, hear it, write it. Let's begin. A, 
G is a rule breaker because below the line R E E. Perfect. So I've got two down. If you want to put a little mark by them, you may do that. Three. Dreamed. Ooh, look, I noticed some ED words. I think we're going to be practicing that suffix again. Dreamed. Sounds like a D, but it's spelled E-D. And we're looking at the E-A, so I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to see it, say it, hear it, write it. Ready, begin. D. R E A M E D. I'll do one more with you. Squeaked. Say that word, squeaked. It's got the qua. Eeked. Squeaked. Up oh, there, ED is acting like a T, but we know that it's spelled with ED. Squeaked. See it, say it? Here, write it. S. Q's a rule breaker, so make it go down below the line. And after a Q, there's always a U. E, A, K, E, D. And you're going to continue to sort those and put them in the section they belong to. All right, let's continue on with our set of words. Oh, here we come to our heart words. What are heart words? Words that you have to know by heart. They do not look the way they sound or they do not sound the way they look. Either way, words you have to know by heart. You have to memorize them. And the only way to do that is to use them over and over and over again. So let's take a look at our heart words today. Heart words. Steak, great, break. Mmm. Here the E-A is making a long A sound instead of an E sound. That's why these are hard words. But you may have thought, well, I know a different steak. There's another steak or a different grate or a different break that has a long A in it. And we'll look at those later in the week. But for now, focus on this E-A making a long A sound in these three words. Steak great break. So I'm just going to fill them in right here. Oh, and look right here. So here's the other great. Which heart word sounds like great and looks like treat? So it looks like this, but it sounds like this. Let me put my ear there. Color my eyeballs. It looks this way. Hmm. Well, they all have an EA. None of them have T. Oh yeah, one does have a T. Great. Oh, great and great. Great and great. So I'm going to put this one, great, right here. So you say it, here it, spell it. G, the rule breaker. R, E, A, T. Isn't that great? Now this great, look, it has an A-T-E in it. Eight. You great. Um, carrots to put on your salad. You grate lemon peel to make a zest. So this has something to do with food. Great. That kind of great is things you eat or things you use with your food. You have a grater. This is, woo, that's great. That's how I remember that one. And this one's, woo, yes. All right, so I used that one. And then I'm going to go continue on. Which heart word sounds, so sounds, like break, but looks like speak? So you're going to fill that in. Which heart word sounds like steak and looks like sneak? Hmm. Steak. Steak. Looks like sneak. So you're going to find those words. I know you can do it. All right, guys. Till next time, go out and do great things.